What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. Sure most of them be talking about Scream 7 and a new rumor surrounding the upcoming project here in this video here today. But before I dived into that, I want to touch on some in information that was shared with me regarding the upcoming Welcome to Dairy series, which we know will be a, a IT prequel. Closest thing to IT Chapter 3, we'll be getting a prequel to Andy Muschietti's two movies we got in 2017 and 2019. Nicholas Hamilton, who played Henry Bowers in Andy's It movies, had this to say recently about Welcome to Derry when speaking to Movie Web. He said, I'll give you a mystery thing. Me and Andy talked a bit. He's giving me tidbits on Flash, and we've talked about some key movies. But really, and you'd have to ask the other boys, I don't think any of us have heard much about the prequel. I think it's filming or about to be filming. I haven't talked to Andy about it at all, but I'm really, really excited about it. I mean, he's becoming one of the biggest directors in the world. So here's my here's my thought there. I don't see why Henry Bowers would have an appearance in this we know we're going to meet a bowers family member clint bowers who is chief of police but i don't see why henry would factor in especially considering this is supposed to be set in the 1960s unless there's some sort of time travel <laughs> that's going to be incorporated or something else that somehow manages to let us see or somehow maybe clint bowers is able to unlock the future or see the future to relatives that he is going to have that don't currently exist. So we'll just have to wait and see if any of these people from the original movies we've gotten will even appear in Welcome to Dairy. Also, this was shared with me. This is information that I will be disclosing. I'll, you don't have to trust it. I trust it coming, coming from the person who has also helped me dig up a lot of recent info, especially regarding things like Insidious 6 and final destination five info or final destination six info i should say which is also ended up being true so welcome to dairy episode five is allegedly going to be set in 1608 episode three which i've revealed in the past is titled now you see it will include a flashback in 1908 and there's a character in welcome to dairy named manise now i've talked about a character named rose in the past who befriends this young boy so we'll have to see if manise and rose will end up being two integral players in the upcoming show but i just wanted to share those small tidbits with you guys about welcome to dairy now jumping into scream 7 there's some buzz about a potential completed script for scream 7 that could start shooting before the end of the year as long as there isn't a sag strike related to the screen actors guild uh, association so chances are report reportedly even higher if the wga strike comes to an end soon this contradicts what i last heard about the plan to wait until next year for various reasons so take it with a grain of salt and don't get your hopes too high just wanted to put the info out there for you all now this is coming from cinestealth now if you're not someone who again is familiar familiar with cinestealth cinestealth has a track record for putting out some information that has been positive on more than one occasion uh, more recently the biggest one that stands out to me still is this freaky friday 2 report they put information out about it back in february the report came out recently that it's going forward it's in development we even found out who's writing it and Lindsay lohan and jamie lee curtis are back on board also they put out something about friday the 13th having some news coming soon or, or alluding to the crystal lake series announcement and then the crystal lake series got announced so they know stuff they're they're talking to people who are worth trusting it would appear now when it comes to this the buzz about a potential completed script for scream 7 keep in mind i also shared this is something that i've heard i i've heard this from a very trusted individual who's also told me things about the upcoming maxine project and in regards to the maxine project i will say that the stuff i know <laughs> makes me think that that maxine project will end up being my favorite of the trilogy so if everything is able to settle down fizzle out with the wga and the sga i don't see why the stuff that viewer non was telling us as it as it pertains to paramount's plans to want to have the film shooting no later than fall of this year possibly having it out in 2024 sometime i don't see why it can't happen because i would like to i would like to think or what i could see is that the strike unfortunately has stopped the scripts for wednesday season two from being completed um uh, yellow jacket season three who jasmine brown was reported to be contractually obligated allegedly to do yellow jacket season three over scream seven if the project were ready to go 
But if Yellow Jacket season three is not ready to go, there's nothing that will be stopping her from participating in Scream 7. So all we would have to do is just wait for these strikes to be over. And hopefully this pending SGA strike doesn't occur either. Uh, of course, we all want everybody to get along, but everybody wants to be properly and uh, comfortably compensated for what they're what they're doing. They're very integral to the entertainment we all love and enjoy. And if they are able to get their way, then we'll be able to move forward and have the industry up and running again without worrying about shows being canceled. Projects like Scream 7 not happening. I don't see why it wouldn't wouldn't be able to film this year if everything can go as planned. Now, I will say this. There is a strong chance that this movie will not shoot this year and it will just continue to not shoot until 2024 when everything is cleared out. But by that time, you could be waiting for projects like Wednesday season two to be finishing and Yellow Jacket season three because of the scheduling conflicts that now have arisen for other participants in the cast, not just the writer strike uh, or the upcoming SGA strike, because we know Nev Campbell will be involved in that SGA strike for certain. So. We'll just have to wait and see. But again, that is the rumor that was put out there by Cinestealth that he, they have also heard there is a completed draft for Scream 7. Now, some of you have talked to me and asked me on Twitter, are there other things about Scream 7 that are or some concrete things about Scream 7 that I that I have heard? There's one in particular. I've just been asked not to share it. I will share that with you when I'm told it is safe to share it. But I just wanted to talk about the script rumor because that's also something that I've talked about in the past. Now you have another scooper who has a better track record than me, I will say, saying stuff about the completed draft. So we'll just have to continue to wait and see. And also, for those of you who've been checking out Beyond the Mass videos, go check out the work he's putting in. I have not been hearing those things, though, that he's putting out. I will just say that. Uh, I'm just trusting the people that I have and they are trusting the people that they have. We're not all talking to the same people. You guys can let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications and there is a video in the description. I'll have links on my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.